if rumors or speculation, whatever you want to call it, isn't enough for you regarding Colorado, you know, the Venezuelan gangs apparently just roaming around taking over apartments. Although, Denver 7 says APD Aurora, Colorado Police, uh, they did not find any evidence supporting these claims. But if that wasn't enough, U.S. seizes Venezuelan President Maduro, uh, who sees his plane, apparently. I'm just going to read this, this quick snippet. This morning, the Justice Department seized an aircraft we allege was illegally purchased for 13 million. Oh, excuse me, 1.3 million? Nope. 13 million through a shell company and smuggled out of the United States for use by Maduro and his cronies. One way to put it. Attorney General uh, Garland said in a statement, the department will continue to pursue those who violate our sanctions and export controls to prevent them from using American resources to undermine the national security of the United States. Wow. So the gangs, no evidence of, but we definitely have evidence that this was, this plane was illegally purchased and then uh, through a shell company and we're, we're taking that back. Everything is all over the place. I'm telling you, I don't have, I am just, this is, this is just a lot. And if that's not enough for you, if that's not enough for you, here's another one. Five defendants, including two doctors charged in connection with actor Matthew Perry's fatal drug overdose last year. So the Los Angeles, Los Angeles apparently, uh, justice.gov, a licensed physician and an alleged San Fernando Valley drug dealer were arrested today in connection with the death of actor Matthew Perry, who suffered a fatal ketamine overdose in October 2013. In total, five defendants, including two doctors, have been charged with the matter, according to court documents unsealed today. The defendants arrested today are charged in an 18-count superseding indictment returned on Wednesday with a disturbing ketamine with a disturbing ketamine to uh, Perry's uh, final weeks of the actor's life. So, Jasveen Senghai, 41, aka the ketamine queen of North Hollywood, and Dr. Salvador uh, Plancia, uh, I, I, sorry if I butchered his name, 42, aka Dr. P of Santa Monica. So these two were apparently up to no good, and they also apparently got the uh, drug dealers, or the people who, who, who got the uh, medicine or drug, whatever you want to call it. So the three other defendants charged separately are Eric Fleming, 54, of Hawthorne, he pleaded guilty on August 8th to one count of conspiracy to distribute ketamine and one count of distribution of ketamine resulting in death. And then we have Kenneth, 59, uh, who conspired with Sangha Fleming and uh, the doctor to illegally obtain ketamine. So they got him for that too. And the Dr. Mark of San Diego, a physician who has agreed to plead guilty to one count of conspiracy to distribute ketamine. So all these people... Um, you know, I'm not saying Perry deserves less, but I wish other people could have more attention just like this. Um, because, you know, this matters. They, they, they had a hand in the overdose, whether they want to or not. They gave them the drug and this is what happened.